Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Love and I am living here in Canada. I am here in Winnipeg, Manitoba. I have thought of sharing about my life lessons that I have learned here living in Canada for the past five years. So I went here 2018 of July as a permanent resident under the provincial nominee program. So a little background of myself, I grew up in the Philippines and I graduated as a nurse. So I worked in the Philippines for the past four years as a staff nurse. I also did Masters of Science in Nursing for a couple of units, but I was not able to finish that. But since after graduating as a nurse, I already have this idea of coming here to Canada because of my distant relatives. I really don't have any idea of coming to other countries like you, the US, um, Australia, UK. My focus was just only to go here to Canada because there's an opportunity, there's an offer that was given to me that time. My mind was focused and I was sure that I will come here to Canada. So it's been a long, long plan, a long, long manifestation. But unfortunately, my application here to Canada did not run smoothly. It took my application five years to finally able to get that approval from the government of Manitoba to come here. <laughs> I will we'll give you visa. There's a lot of delays, but with that delay, I was given another opportunity to come to Abu Dhabi to practice as a nurse and I worked there for three years and I would say that that was the biggest learning curve for me to be able to become independent coming here to Canada because it taught me a lot of things and it really helped me to be able to move in another country like Canada. So I am so grateful for that and also the salary that I got there, it helped me to, to be able to pay the fees here going to Canada. In this video, I would just like to share five life lessons that I have learned for the past five years that I I lived here in Canada. This sharing is just based on my personal experience and I hope some people can resonate with it. Number one is to know your goal. Very first thing when you land here to Canada, what's your ultimate goal? And also this applies anything in life. To be able to be successful in anything that you do, you have to have a goal. You have to have a plan on how will you achieve that goal, right? This will help you to be not distracted by shiny things by the things that does not really align with your goal for me when I came here to Canada I am NOT yet a nurse because registered nurse is a very regulated profession here in Canada so you have to do school exams to be able to practice as a nurse so I know from the start that I will be working I will be studying to be able to get my life license back. So my goal since I come here is to focus on that and study for the exam and clicks IELTS, Selban, etc. Like CCA, like all those stuff. Aside from working, I am studying a lot and that has been my life for the past five years. Of course, when you come here to Canada as a new immigrant, as a newcomer, you're not gonna be able to practice the profession that you have back home. My intention when I was applying for jobs here like the survival job as what they say I intentionally look for jobs that is related to my nursing profession that is related to medical field because I know that I may not gonna like the job that I'm going to but it's gonna support me financially while starting and I also want to have that experience that will mold me to becoming an efficient nurse in the future. So number two is to surround yourself with the right people, friends uh, that will lift you up. 
people that fits your future have a support system that will help you through tough time this is hard especially when you're just starting your life here in canada again in a whole new country like you don't have any friends you don't have any community you're just going in a country without knowing anyone like you have to really socialize you have to network and find friends that is right for you and for me i found mostly of my friends from manitoba start so it is a program of the government of manitoba for newcomers it's a seminar that um, newcomers come in to just to learn more about how manitoba works uh, how to apply for jobs and those kind of stuff and it's easier for me to find a friend there because you are both starting from the beginning you have the same goal same experiences i have learned that don't be influenced by people who does not really match your goals in life for example people who just want to party every weekend every friday people who don't really plan on bettering their life in the future they just live day by day without any goals in mind because it's really gonna affect you they're really gonna drag you with them you went here to canada to have a better life not to just chill and do nothing about it like also like find a community that is aligned with your values like for example like groups that talks about finances community like church communities those are very helpful and number three is to manage your finances and know about how finance works here in canada because this is different from the country where you're from like i didn't know about those tfsa rrsp and pension you have to learn it from other people also try to ask those people who have been here longer than you who are also immigrants how are they able to buy a house a car talk to a lot of people so that you'll have more understanding and you'll gonna make better choices on your finances do your budget it should be a part of your weekly check-ins to manage your money because money is not easy here in canada you have to work hourly for that i know that here in western countries that is very normal but it shouldn't be how you think about it you should be trying to avoid bad debt you just have to know what is an investment for your future there's no need to impress other people but if it makes it makes you happy then do it number four it will get lonely and especially for me i'm single and i am living by myself and you know it's tough sometimes but you really have to have a support system your friends your co-workers where you can share your problems with if you're not comfortable sharing with the people you know like there's a lot of psychotherapies here therapy here that you can go to with a price or covered by your insurance but it is really helpful aside from managing your goals your finances to always to also manage your mental health because it's very important you don't need a lot of money and then your mental health is struggling right that is also a part of the lessons i have learned here also like have a strong faith if you believe in religion always pray life will be difficult at times but it's just a part of life it's part of growing you'll get through this <laughs> and number five is to enjoy just enjoy like even if the work is stressful like you have to work every single day still try to find time to enjoy and focus on yourself like do the things that you love on those days that you are not working like have a life outside of your work because you are very blessed to be here in this country if you're an immigrant and despite all the struggles difficulties of living in a foreign country be grateful always because not everyone has given this opportunity to live in a beautiful country like canada and life will happen it's inevitable and but you have to practice to be grateful every single day
And for me, my practice is I always do gratitude journaling every morning. So I have this notebook that I got from Dollarama. I think this is just like $4. And I write every single day three things that I am grateful for in my life. And you know, the purpose of this is to be able to see little things in life. You sometimes take it for granted and like being thankful for what you have now while you are achieving for the things that you have you want to have in the future right and don't stress too much about the future as long as you have plans you have goals and you know what you're doing because you you are the one who's creating your success so as long as you pray as long as you plan you have goals you can surely handle any difficulties in life you're not gonna be given these difficulties in life if you were not able to handle it right just always remember that you are blessed and be grateful that's it for this video so i hope that you enjoyed this video and that's it goodbye